Hey everybody, Sam here from Sugar Spun Run, and today I'll be showing you how to make a buttermilk cornbread. Different parts of the United States traditionally have different preferences when it comes to cornbread. The northern part of the US generally tends to prefer their cornbread to be cakier and slightly sweeter, while the south, my understanding is, prefers it slightly drier and more crumbly and certainly less sweet. Well, my preference, even though I'm right on the Mason-Dixon line, is for the northern style of cornbread, and that's what I'm sharing with you today. Today's recipe is slightly sweet, nice and cakey, and it's great with chili or just about any other recipe. To get started, you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you are going to need 1 4th cup of melted butter. We'll add this to a large bowl, and we will add a quarter cup of canola or vegetable oil. Next, you will need 1 3rd cup of tightly packed light brown sugar. This is where the sweetness comes in for this cornbread recipe, and I much prefer to use brown sugar rather than regular granulated sugar because it imparts a nice extra bit of flavor into your cornbread. We will also use a little bit of regular granulated sugar. You will need two and a half tablespoons for today's recipe. And we'll stir these ingredients together until they're nicely combined. Next, you will need two large eggs. I'm going to use a fork to lightly beat these. It's going to make it easier to incorporate this into the other ingredients if it's lightly beaten. One thing to keep in mind is you should use room temperature eggs since we're using melted butter. So you wanna set these out a little bit before you begin baking. We'll also add 2 thirds cup of buttermilk. And if you don't have buttermilk on hand, I do have a super simple substitute for you. And I will drop a link to that recipe in the description below. We'll give these ingredients another good stir before we prepare our dry ingredients. Now we'll set our buttermilk mixture aside and you're going to need a separate clean bowl and we'll add one cup of all-purpose flour to that. Add 3 fourths cup of cornmeal, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. We'll give these ingredients a good stir. And then we can bring back our buttermilk mixture and we are going to add these dry ingredients to our buttermilk mixture and we'll use our spatula to stir everything together until the ingredients are just combined. You don't want to overmix this cornbread batter, otherwise it could come out too dense and too dry, so just use a gentle hand when you're stirring everything together. And now our buttermilk cornbread is ready to bake. You will need an eight by eight pan for this recipe. And as you can see, I like to line mine with parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, you can just lightly grease and flour yours. That will work as well. But I prefer the parchment paper just because it makes cleanup easier. So I'm going to pour my batter into this pan. Use my spatula to evenly spread the batter. And now we can bake our cornbread in our 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for about 25 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean or with a few moist crumbs. This cornbread is best enjoyed while still warm, so I'm going to go ahead and cut right in. And that is all there is to making my favorite buttermilk cornbread, and I think it's going to be your favorite too. I really hope you guys will try this recipe out, and please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.